Hey everybody, let's actually get into some gameplay of Keiki no Kiseki. So, like I said before, this is a puzzle matching game. It's not a match three like Candy Crush, but it's also not uh, the kind of game, not like Puzzles and Dragons. So it's a little bit, I don't know, in between? I don't know. Uh, but your goal is to try and connect as many of the same colored pieces as possible and uh, meet the requirements for each stage. So for example, this stage asks you to get uh, 60 reds, 60 blues, and 100 purples in 30 uh, moves. And basically you have to make a team of five. And there's the good thing about this game is that there's no cost associated with your party. So uh, it's not like you need to be a certain level to increase your cost count such that you can put in all of those five stars that you pulled for. All of the high rarity uh, characters that you get in this game you can put it into your team right away and use them right away so that is pretty darn awesome you also get a friend unit to uh, help you out so let's just, just go in there and each member has a certain ability that you can use and that will help you in game uh, a lot so for example uh, we got uh, Suzumoto here which will after clearing 25 purple pieces you can turn uh, eight yellow pieces into purple or you can have oh well Four out of five are, so all of these are turning into that color. So this one will randomly turn nine into green. It'll turn 10 green into red. Aoi will turn uh, red or green, 10 or red or green pieces into yellow. And Shitamanaka at the end, she will increase the grade of 12 purple pieces by one level. And what that means, we'll go that in a second. But um, so, we can connect as many of the same colors as we can together. So here we go. We'll connect nine of these reds together. And it'll also affect the pieces around them. So because the pieces around those purple uh, pieces were locked, we were able to downgrade that lock piece by one. Now, I'm going to clear out these uh, green pieces and note what happens to the purple pieces on the left. And you saw they got a little bit bigger. So each of the standard puzzle pieces can go up to three levels. And why you'd want to increase their level is, um, well, I guess let's just do it like this. So look at what happens to that middle piece. So again, we're near, and now you can see it's very shiny, I guess. So that's a level three gem. Now, if you're able to break a gem past level three, they will explode and they'll actually chain react to all the pieces around them. And so you want chain reacting will give you more points and depending on certain characters, they'll actually give you more points for causing chains. So you just want to keep doing that over and over. And some uh, levels will ask you to get a certain amount of uh, chain combos. Uh, others will want to make sure that you can get the largest uh, consecutive uh, chain here. So it really depends on the level and they have a lot of different ways to make things interesting. So like as you can see this has the gimmicks of blocks in the middle which you need to break as well as pieces that have been locked. But in return the requirements is just being able to clear out a huge amount of these colored pieces. And so characters like I mean Suzumoto here which will turn into purple. Uh, Saito which will turn into red. I guess these two are kind of useless for this team. But uh, that's all right. We'll use them. But uh, yeah, so then you're just trying to connect as much as possible. And then, you know, if you can chain, you'll get some more points that way. Uh, so we can try to make a longer chain if possible. I don't know if I can do that easily. And of course, we have a time limit here. Uh, not time limit. Uh, a move limit so we have to do this in 20 more turns and also we need a minimum point score up here uh, that's probably not going to be a problem with my team but uh, let's see what we can do so we're going to use the ability you can uh, as you can see it will show up on the screen uh, so all you need to do is tap it and use it and then now we see okay we have a boatload of purple gems well maybe that's not ideal but we just need to be doing this over and over 
And of course clearing the blocks will help out because that means we don't have to worry about uh, them taking a spot and make it easier to connect different colors. And, and yeah, so as you, if you notice that each skill had a uh, counter at the bottom, so you just need to clear that many stones before that uh, skill block shows up on the the main stage. And like I was, actually, did I say that earlier? But um, the reason why you'd want to, uh, as you notice, I got one of each color. And of course, that's good to make sure that uh, you're able to uh, get points for each thing you clear. But if you have dupes of the same color, the uh, amount of stones are evenly divided across your characters. So they won't um, charge up as quickly if you have dupe colors. So it's kind of a big a detriment to have uh, duplicate colors in this game, which is, I mean, it's an interesting strategy. It wasn't always like that. There was a big uh, rebalancing uh, patch in this game. People weren't too happy about it because they were just bringing solid color teams and, you know, just wrecking the game with, uh, I guess, non, non, I guess, easily obtainable cards, I guess. So a lot of people weren't happy with that change, but for me, I was always one of those guys that liked the uh, one, one color of each kind of party, so it didn't really affect me, but I can see why people were angry with that. Um, but yeah, so we're starting to get a little bit iffy here. I guess my, my blue count is actually kind of concerningly high. So hopefully we can get rid of that. And we got a bunch of yellow pieces that are just in the way, so maybe if we can get rid of them, that'll help. But as you can see, diagonal movements are perfectly okay. And let's see, 17 blue units. That doesn't look good. Ooh. Well, so let's use these purple. It'll increase the level of all, not all purple gems. How many purple gems? 12 of them. And... If they cause combos, it'll help uh, eliminate them from the board. And those are free uh, counts, right? So I'm able to use ability to get rid of stones and without spending a, a move on them. And oh, OK, so this is a bug in this game that's really annoying. As you can see, it says I can't connect it here. That means this puzzle piece is actually a skill, skill bubble. And this, this bug has been in the game for quite a while, but I thought they had fixed it, but I guess not. So yeah, that's a little bit annoying. But the lack of blue pieces is concerning me. So let's get rid of some of more of these greens. And let's increase the level of some purples. That should help take care of that bottom corner. Not bad. And okay, five more. All right, we can get rid of this green section to help bring down the blues. Oh, and this chain combo. All right, there you go. We've got five. And so you can also use your friend uh, character that you brought to help with one use of their ability. And this actually gives you an extra, extra move, which is super helpful. And we'll clear this and we have cleared the stage. And that was a pretty good chain bonus. And of course, uh, as you can see on the top, this is a D rank, C rank, B rank, A rank. And if you fill the bar, that's an S rank. And at the end of the stage, all of the unused skill blocks will uh, explode, as well as any unused moves, which will help increase your score. And there you go. That is the basis of Kyaki no Kiseki. There is a bunch of different gimmicks, uh, but you know the standard play is pretty much the same. There's also a mode where it's a time-based rather than a, a move-based, so that shakes it up a little, but other than that, it's pretty much the same uh, same thing over and over. And I just love these kind of puzzle games, and I've always resisted to playing these kind of games, but uh, yeah, I just started this and then couldn't stop. Now, so 
that is it for Kyoki no Kiseki. I don't know if there's going to be much uh, other videos for this game besides gacha polls because to be honest what you saw there is basically the gist of gameplay. There isn't too wild of a difference otherwise so um, yeah. There is an event going on right now so I'm basically going to be playing those stages over and over uh, but they actually do have a pretty funny uh, uh, I don't know, feature, I guess you'd call it. So if you have cleared a stage, you can actually skip puzzling that stage and just get the rewards for that stage. So see this bottom right button skip and it'll give you the minimum score that you needed to get that rank. So you can just click this and it'll say, are you gonna, are you okay with getting the highest rank and then skipping all puzzles? You will get the drop rewards, which is insane. So there's like no downsides to skipping unless you really wanted to get that higher score. As you can see, it's the minimum for the S, 180,000. You saw that my high score is about 400K, but I can just do this. And in seconds, I've gotten uh, friendship points with all of the characters. I've gotten all of the rewards and I even get points for the event. That is insane. And, uh, oh, that's right. As part of the events, they have these encore events. And uh, they come in two flavors, or three flavors. There's the normal encore, which I got right now, special encore, and uh, secret encore. And, of course, you can imagine the higher ones have give you higher points. And in this one, you have to actually just drop these treasure boxes to the bottom of the screen. And by dropping them to the bottom of the screen, you'll get uh, a lot more bonus points than you would by playing the game normally. So... I mean, it's really all about how many bonus points can you, uh, how many treasure chest chests can you drop uh, within the time limit. And as you can see, unlike the previous uh, stage where it was uh, uh, move driven, this is purely uh, time driven. So as long as you can find a way to drop these chests to the bottom of the screen, that's all you need to do. And it does get a little tough with these uh, bigger puzzle boards because you can easily get stuck and you know you're just always clearing uh, pieces on the top of the screen which won't allow you to drop these treasure chests which is what you really want to do. Um, so yeah there you go that's that's an encore and the present boxes are the key for this stage and I don't know if you compare the points it'll be much much more pronounced in the Encore version. And you can't actually skip the Encore, so that's too bad. And you can say 142% thanks to the uh, member pulls that I got. So... Yeah, and the Encores can continue for three consecutive times per clear, so... I won't bore you with more Encores, but this is basically what I'm doing for the... for the events. And they actually have some cool prizes as... Not only in-game, but uh, in real life rewards. So they had uh, what tickets to a live event. This one they're giving special photos of the member you choose. So I'm sure the uh, hardcore fans in Japan are going crazy over that. But for me, I'm just casually playing nicely. So um, there you go. That is Keiki no Kiseki. Uh, if you're interested, feel free to put a comment. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. And until next time, bye-bye.